Welcome back to Crazy Bill's Garage. And today we're looking at three, well, Castrol oil filters. You know, the synthetic ones from Castrol. Uh, pretty well, these things are made by uh, Champ Labs, it seems. They got a Champ Labs look to them. Pretty well, everyone says they're made by Champ Labs. I'm pretty sure they are. And this one's a CAS7317. A CAS3593 and a CAS3593. Uh, these are the only ones who's come in to my uh, place where I work in a long time. Not too many people use these Castrol filters. Probably because you can get these a lot cheaper by, be, by buying probably the Champ XL, which I think is a carbon copy of uh, <laughs> these filters. Get that on Rock Auto for like four or five bucks. If you buy these here, check the Canadian Dare. These things are like uh, 15 16 dollars. <laughs> buy them online. That Canadian currency thing. Oh my word, it's crazy. But we're going to take a look at them. They're all used. So these filters, though are rated for up to like 32,000 kilometers. Now that's a little insane. Well, actually, the other thing is 20,000 miles. That's what they say. Would you use a filter that far? I don't think I would. I change my filter pretty well every time I do an oil change. Uh, let's see, it's a premium fiberglass synthetic media in these filters. So. It's uh, not cellulose or anything like that. It is uh, fiberglass synthetic. And they do have a silicone anti drain back valve on them, which is very nice. And made in the USA, that's always a really good thing. You know, it says on all of these here product of the USA. Yep, product of the USA. And as far as I can find, these things are good. I don't know if this is true. 99% efficiency at 25 microns? I always thought it was 20 microns, but I didn't couldn't find anything. And I checked Castrol's site and everything, and I, I couldn't... Uh, they, they, they're not too clear on things on there, I don't think. Or I'm just not looking in the right spot. So, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure Champ Labs. Well, there we go. I got them cut open. I see this one here may not have drained as well as I thought it should have. It, 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 it's doing an oil leak thing here. So, yeah. I don't know. It should have drained a lot better than that. Let me stick down some of these towels here that collect oil. There we go. Uh, maybe we'll do that one last. Let, let, let. Let's let her drain out a bit. <sighs> and lay it on its side. Uh, the 7317. What? This one's got water in it. What? What's going on here? Well, does that screw up our results? I didn't know this one had water in it. Yeah, we'll take a look anyways. Uh, yeah, this one did have water in it. As you can see, pretty gooey. I don't know, did this come off an engine that, uh, I don't know, maybe this came off an engine that blew the head gasket. Because it's pretty gooey in here. Where's my glove? Definitely going to wear a glove on this one. There we go. I don't know. It's pretty wet. Uh, kind of got a tinge to it here. I don't know if it's antifreeze. I can't tell. But who knows? Oh. Oh. What is going on here? Okay, something pretty gross there. It's like the glue ran down. 
all the way around here, or sludge, glue or sludge, it's whatever it is, right? We give her a little wipe off here. I don't know. Would you would you use these filters in your vehicle for twenty thousand or more kilometers? Or twenty thousand or more miles? Yeah, it's got an E core, so these are definitely champ labs. Yeah. Not too many who use the the E core. I, I like the E core, it's great for flow. Get this cut off here. Well, okay. I guess that might have been in the uh, overheated a bit, cause uh, yeah, she peeled off the glue peeled off from the back. That's interesting. It does happen, though, doesn't it? This filter does. <laughs> this one, too. I'm thinking this may have been in a vehicle for a while. So, because they do that if they get a, lots of oil through them. And I see this one has that sludgy stuff there, so I'm not sure what that is. There we go. And this does seem to be very soaked up with oil or whatever crud was in this engine. Um, e core. There's that spot here. This looks pretty sludgy. Maybe that's just sludge? This thing is thick. Like, it's soaked up a lot of sludginess. Yeah. I don't see any bad, bad things to it. Uh, let's give her a rip here. Yeah, she's pretty soaked up. I, I'm, I'm not sure if this is from a head gasket uh, going down or if somebody left this out in the rain. It does have a yellowy color to it, so I'm guessing it, it could be antifreeze. I'm not too sure though. So, but the filter still looks like it's fine. How does the um, yeah, that still works fine. The core is fine. Yeah, these things are strong. Uh, I, no wonder I like Champ. I like those E cores. Okay. Uh, and I said in the cup. I don't know, maybe there was a catastrophic failure of this filter uh, or in the engine and this is the result. I'm not sure. And here we go. This one, oh, the oil looks decent. It, it's uh, it's colored, you know, it's, it's dark, but it's almost like transmission fluid. <laughs> it's so dark. Uh, the silicone anti-drain back though. I was hoping this one would come out because she's punched in here a bit. So, ah, da da. I hate it. How is this one? Oh, this one's clean on the bottom. It's always nice to see they're clean on the bottom. I punched through there with my drill when I went too far uh, to drain these. That's pretty strong. That's still strong. How thick are. Now these canisters are not, they're like standard type thickness, so they're not too thick. And that's where he uh, bent it when he was taking it off. But this filter is pretty dirty. Like, it's seen some uh, life in an engine. Standard E-Core. Well, let me cut off this one. We'll see what we got on this one. Still feels pretty good, I have to admit. Of course, it is fiberglass synthetic media. Yes, it is. But you can see though where you know 
where always they put them together where it's open. You can see how lots of flow has punched that down there a bunch. It has punched her down. So, not terrible all the way around though, is it? Yes. Me, I'd honestly just buy the Champ XLs. They're pretty well identical to these, so that's my kind of thing I would buy. But hey, that's me. All right. Let's see here. She looks good. You know what? I'm gonna rip her. Oh, she feels a lot stronger than that other one. That other one, I think, is either antifreeze logged or waterlogged. But ah, she looks pretty good. How does this? Eh, she's glued. She is glued. And this does feel pretty strong still. Yeah, that that's a filtration that just isn't gonna come apart in your oil filter, it seems. But uh, pretty, doesn't feel like there's much grit or anything. So that's actually probably a good thing for the engine. But it seems, here's the inside. Seems like it did a pretty good job. Impressive, actually. Uh, this one didn't come apart like the other one, so. Uh, E-Core looks great. And this one, which is the same as the other one. This one. Oh, yeah. These things do have a bit of weight to them, by the way. Five threads. Many little hole or smaller holes. Not a uh, terrible... I like the holes a little bigger, but as you can see, the... Uh, these have the they have a really good seal for sealing they're like very large large flat seals to seal this oil filter on so it looks like it does a great job and silicone you could still put that on filters and they, they work great and here we go yeah, this oil is just as reddish as the other stuff is. So, I'm not bleeding, it's just oil. <laughs> and, let's see, any drain back? Not sure if this was run on the same car, because these two didn't work together, but they did come in at the same time. So these two may have been uh, oil change on the same car, and he brought in two oil filters for it, but uh, it looks actually better than the other one. It's not flattened out here or anything like the other one was. Yeah, all the pacing is, or pace, spacing looks pretty good here. I'm gonna cut off. And this one actually cuts like it's a little tougher than the other one. So I'm guessing this one wasn't on as long as the one I just cut open. So, feels like it could go a while longer, this one. So, yes. There we go. There's another part right here. Here's where they connect. Glue held her just fine. Uh, nothing in these filters to show of any damage to an engine, really, which doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I've uh, I've taken filters out of cars, opened them up, and there was no damage on the filter, and then the car engine was totally a bag of hammers. So. But it feels pretty good. It feels like they use really good oil. It's like very smooth. It's probably silicone oil. Silicone. Synthetic oil. And it doesn't seem that old. I know it's got that reddish, reddish tinge to it, but you don't see any sparkles in there in the oil or anything. So it looks very good. So, yeah. I would use these, like I say, if... They were any cheaper, 
but uh, they're not. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's the way it goes. And uh, there we go. I got those three done. Um, I, I, I am still impressed with these Castro filters. I just don't like the price of them, like I said. I think uh, buying fil filters online, if you get the ones that you, you like, is still cost effective compared to if you're shopping in Canada and find these filters. The prices are a little excessive, I must say. But, uh, if you want to have your car have a good filter and change it at good intervals, then yeah, you'll put, you'll pay the price, you'll put a better filter on, and uh, you know, it, it should do the job. Now, another thing, um, that guy who had the, uh, let's see, what filter was that? That was a Mobile One filter, and he left it in for three, um, three changes, He's actually told me now, he's using these Castro filters, and I thought he said he was using something else, but now he told me he bought a bunch of these online, and he's going to use those in his car, and I can't remember what the other ones were he was using, but he's, he says he's using these ones, he asked me if they're okay, I said, yeah, I think they're pretty good just expensive here in Canada and he says now nah, he bought them from the states online so he got something like six or eight of them or something for a very inexpensive price that made it like four dollars a filter so he was quite happy with that the other ones he was going to use fell through I guess and he decided to go with these but uh not a bad filter kind of like them and uh I don't know, yeah, share your comments with me and tell me what you think of these filters or any of the other videos I do. And I'll try to answer them and I'll try to be kind. Some of you don't deserve kindness. You know who you are. <laughs> but mostly, 99% of you are the best commenters in the world. Thank you very much. So, there you go. This is uh, for Friday. Uh, use filter Friday. And, uh, well, thanks for watching, and a well, new filter comes out new next week. Don't know what it is yet. Um, have to think about it. I got a few choices, so I'll be thinking about that and get that done up for you real soon for Monday.